and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyra and I make videos on tips, tricks, and organization for small space living. So I posted a video like this just a couple of weeks ago and basically I'm gonna go on Instagram at anything that has the hashtag studio apartment on it. I'm gonna take a look at it and let you know what design aspects I really love and what I think they've done really well and what are some things that I would personally change myself. None of this is hate. I just know when I watch videos of people giving their advice, I wanna hear what's good and bad. Like I just feel like that's the best way to learn. You guys seem to really like the last video I did so I'm excited to make more of these it's super fun for me I love looking at studio apartments so I'm really excited so let's just go ahead and jump into it I am going to put up my phone screen here on the camera again so that way you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at while I'm looking at it okay this is so cute this is such a good use of space in a tiny tiny kitchen I don't see a stove is my only question maybe it's like behind the flowers but I don't know where that would be but besides that I really love the mixture of the wood and the pink and the white and the gold. It's really aesthetically pleasing. Even though they have stuff on the countertop, it all looks very clean and intentional. That is so cute. I also really love that island because you could pull stools up to that side with the little hexagons or you can just leave it open, but the other side, it looks like it has storage. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I really like this apartment. I like how bright it is and I like that they have that accent wall of the blue. The mounted light, super smart. It saves you the floor space that they don't really have there to put a lamp. The fact that both the dresser and the couch have the peg legs makes it look like it ties in really well with that same sort of like mid-century table. I like that a lot. It's just very clean. It looks really organized. I love the plants mounted on the wall up there. Super cute. The mirror really opens up the space. I really like this. They did a good job on that apartment. All right, I see this posted all the time and I feel like I just need to put that out there right now. I've seen this Ikea hack where people make it into a kitchen island. I feel like people have taken these shelves and tried to make them into everything. But honestly, the material that those shelves is made out of is not the best material. I love Ikea and I'm all for Ikea. But if you're trying to do a kitchen island, which is such a staple piece and you need it to last and it's gonna get a lot of wear and tear, I personally think it's a lot better to invest in getting better quality items than trying to DIY it yourself because I just don't think it turns out as good as anyone ever wants it to. All right, not a studio apartment. Such an aggressive amount of lights on that patio, but wow, that is very pretty. I feel like that's a patio that people would actually use, whereas I think 97% of patios, people don't ever actually use them. They just sound nice and then don't actually get any usage. Ooh, love this. This kitchen is so cute. It's pretty small. I love the use of the tiles on the floor to bring in that design aspect. The two stools at that little bit of a raised kitchen countertop, so smart, saves you from needing a dining table. The all white looks really sleek. You don't really need a kitchen any bigger than that. I really like that. There's tons of cabinets for lots of storage and stuff. Oh, this is smart for a little entryway. I like that it's all drawers, so you have tons of storage in there. They set it up so it's also like a bench in a mudroom so that way you can take off your shoes. That would be very handy. Wow, this apartment's view is crazy. I followed this one for a while too. This is champagne and sequins. This one is very pretty though. It's very, very white, which is not everyone's style. I think it looks really pretty because she has such an amazing view. Like I can't even imagine. The white couch and the white bedding and everything, it's all very neutral and looks very pretty and intentional. Okay, this is a very like boho looking space. I kind of feel like there's too much going on. I feel like this rug is too small for that space. Like you'd want a bigger sheepskin rug if you're gonna do it. This is why I just, I'm not a big fan of shelves because I feel like this is just random clutter. Like there's a couple plants on there, but it seems pretty random, everything on there. So I feel like it would just look a little bit more clean without it. The bed on the floor with the oversized duvet, it's a move. The pupperoo on the bed is my favorite move. He's adorable, he can stay. Ooh, this is cool. That is a very small kitchen. I don't even think there is, oh wait, oh wait, there is a very small stove. This black thing is a stove. That is super cool though. I mean, you would have enough storage because it goes up so tall. One of those cabinets has got to be like a hidden fridge. I don't know how else they would do it. I like it. It's super tiny, but I feel like you could make it work. Very, very sleek and modern looking. All right, this is that same one I was showing you before, but this is a different angle. This is that champagne and sequins. I like the all white in here. I like that she has the pops of green, the fiddle leaf in the back corner, the all white and gray bedding. 
It's just very clean and neutral. I like that she has the natural robin basket on the coffee table. That looks really nice and I feel like it ties in with the pillows that are a little bit more naturally woven. That's pretty. Ah, here we go. This is a good true studio. That is a little space. Okay, a couple things I wanna point out. The TV on, this might even be a console table, but I feel like they've got to use it for their dresser. I don't know where else they would store their clothes. I think that's really smart. The little tiny bistro set of a table with this extra stool I really like. I feel like this space is small, but they've made it functional. The TV faces both the bed and the couch and could even face the dining chair if they wanted. I feel like you could make that work. This is the use of one of those Ikea shelves that actually doesn't look too crazy to me. I mean, there is more clutter than I would personally want to put up on there, but it seems like this person has a lot of books. I like that they have the drawers and the door on a couple of the cupboards. So that way it looks a little bit more clean and organized. That little tiny couch, perfect for the space. You really don't need anything bigger than that if you're living in a studio on your own. The shelf above with the frame, that looks nice. That cord is pretty annoying for that lamp, but I mean, I don't know what else they could do with it. I have annoying cords from like my lamps and stuff too, so I totally get that. I don't know what it is today, but I'm really loving the like very clean and neutral vibe. I feel like this space is huge and yet it's still technically a studio because they don't have like a proper door there and it's just the curtains. But like, this is an eight person dining table. That's a lot of people to have over. I don't know, I don't love this. The space feels too big and like they're not maximizing it. I feel like if you're gonna have that much space, you could do something better with it. That's just me. Oh, this is actually really neat. So this person put their bed inside of their closet. So that's their closet doors. I love that they used the trunk for their coffee table because that's extra storage as well. I like that the runner on the coffee table kind of ties into the blankets that she has on her bed. This is a normal person's apartment. This isn't someone who focuses into designing small spaces. This is someone who's just living in a studio. And I think they did a really good job with it for just being like a standard place. The hooks for the bags on the back of the door. I mean, she doesn't have a closet anymore, so you gotta put them somewhere. Ooh, okay, this is cool. Again, lots of neutrals today. I don't know why, but love all the light that comes through into that apartment. They have the bedside table breaking up the space between the bed and the couch. Lots of like fur items. So there's the fur throw on the chair, on the couch, the fur poof, the fur pillows on the bed. Kind of sticking to a theme here. Very white and elegant and girly. I don't know what cabinet this is, but this girl has a lot of nice looking shoes. My feet hurt just looking at those high heels, but they're in some sort of cabinet. You gotta do what you gotta do. Wow. Oh my gosh, so many more shoes too. That's a lot of clothes. A little bit more of a minimalistic lifestyle than that, but she made it work. And for it being a closet that you can't put away, it looks pretty good. That's a lot of stuff to have to make look pretty aesthetically pleasing. Uh, that's a hard one. I don't know what I would do if I had a fireplace that you couldn't actually use. She has like a screen or something up and then that frame in front of it. That's a tough one. I don't know what I would do with that either. Okay, I really like this. This is another one of those like boxy Ikea shelf things, but they have the entire bottom row being filled with those black boxes. So that looks really nice. The couch being right up against it. That leather couch is super cool. I like that a lot. The bedroom having that design in the paint on the wall, I think is a really neat way to tie it in. That's just really unique. And all of the colors are tied in between the box on the top of the shelves, the paint, the blanket, the pillow. That looks really cool. Wow. And to see what it started off as, they put a lot of work into that. They did a really good job. I love that lamp above the couch as well. This is a really unique one. That is really cool. The trundle bed underneath the regular bed, that ergonomic chair, that's like a piece of art. That's like not even an actual regular studio apartment, but that's pretty stinking beautiful. I like this one too. I like, they definitely got like a boho theme going on with the wood, the headboard and the bed frame and the dresser. And I think that's a lamp on the wall, like a sconce going up. I would have put this bag over here on the wall with the other two bags. I just think three would have rounded it out really nicely. And the only other thing I would have done is I would have done a bed skirt or I would have done these baskets that she has over here. I would have just lined the whole bottom with baskets just so it looks the same because it would just drive me really crazy to see all the stuff underneath. All right, let's do one more. Otherwise I will be here all day. All right, we've got a theme and we're sticking to it. This one is in a really neat apartment. You can tell it's very vintagey because of, look at that molding. That's super beautiful, but I would have raised, I know they're going for something by having the art be so low, but with the ceiling so high, I just think it would have looked nice to have it come up a little bit. That's just me. I love the old style rug with the whites and the neutrals. This chair, that looks like that would be uncomfortable. That doesn't look like that would be a fun place to sit. I didn't mean to do this, but I picked a series of different studios, so we're gonna look at them all. Wow, this apartment's super cool. It would be really hard, honestly, to work with all those angles in the wall, but the bed nook is perfect. Like that can just 
just be tucked away. I like the lamp that's mounted to the wall a lot. That's really neat. I feel like you could do a lot with that. This is cool too. The futon must be like a pull-out bed and that's where they sleep. I'm really digging these like very sleek minimalistic kitchens because as little as it looks, it has a ton of storage still. It has a lot of counter space. You could easily make that work. So that's really neat. The little bistro set, really nice. I'm like an addict and I can't quit. I just want one more. Oh, okay. I want to show this because I saw this the other day and I think it's really cool. This is like a rolling desky thing that goes over your bed. I love that idea. I could never do that idea because I think I would legitimately never ever leave my bed, but I love the idea of that. It'd be so neat to just be able to like roll it right up. Also though, look how long ago was this made because that white MacBook, that's pretty outdated at this point. All right guys, I literally have to stop doing this. Every time I film these videos, I'm just talking for 25 minutes straight because I love looking at studio apartments so much. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know. If you do like these videos, definitely give them a thumbs up. It lets me know that you're enjoying my content and lets me know what I should be making more of. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button. Also feel free to go over and follow me on my Instagram. I post lots of content over there and would love to get to know more of you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.